You break up with somebody, you're either gonna fall off on good terms or on bad terms. Sometimes you fall off on good terms, but then shit happens and you no longer talk. I know most of you subscribers are, are also subscribed to J Vibes and Royalties World. So you already know what's been going on with that situation and the drama. One side is gonna show some receipts, the other one is gonna show receipts as well. But we are not living their lives, so we really don't know everything in detail. We're just gonna go off of what they're putting out there. Again, I have mad respect for Neek, and I also have mad respect for Jay. Melanin Monroe made a video uh, called Royalty World Exposed by her ex, Jay Vibes. I know a little bit about what happened. I don't know too much because their lives, girl, their lives be like an hour or to two hours and I can't be on there, you know? I have, I have a job. <laughs> I have things to do. Melanin Monroe did break it down a little bit. Um, from what I know, it all started about a phone bill. From what I see, I think it was just a misunderstanding and it just, it just spiraled downhill. Let's go ahead and watch this video. By the way, this is actually going to be the first video I've seen from this channel. So, let's go ahead and watch. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Melanie Monroe. Another day. More YouTube drama. Now, as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is about Neek G, the host, or Royalties World, and J Vibes. Now, if you're not familiar sir, with J Vibes or Neek G, the host, you may be living under a rock. No, I'm just kidding. But Neek G is a reaction channel. She's kind of transitioning towards like vlogging now since YouTube is kind of changing their rules and regulations. And you have to, you have to evolve along with the business. If you don't, you're going to be left behind on vlogging, I'm sorry, on reactions, and J Vibes is her ex-girlfriend. Um, they obviously used to be together, and she also has a channel in that, you know, she does reactions, she does vlogs, she does story time, she does a whole plethora of things on her Little channel. hustler, little now, hustler. they broke up after like a five-year relationship about a couple of months ago, and yep. Okay, so five-year relationship. Pris and I have been together for five years, so I can't. Ju I can just imagine how much emotions are involved here. Yesterday, they decided that uh, they was just gonna let the cat out of the bag and let everybody know what really went down and why they separated and what was going on behind the scenes. It looks like they were on the same phone plan. Nick has now moved. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, y'all. Didn't mean to push you guys back. Give me a second. Okay, back to normal. <laughs> to Atlanta, and uh, J Vibe still lives in Charlotte. They're on the same phone plan. It seems to me like there's a misunderstanding. Neek was supposed to pay her portion of the bill in Atlanta, and J Vibe was gonna, you know, they were gonna continue to work it out. That's problem number one. When you break up with somebody, cut all ties financially. Do not have anything together, anything joint. So when they broke up, they broke up on good terms. But they should have literally cut off everything. The, the phone bill, the, they should have separated everything. But because, of, because they didn't, now there's issues. Seems to be J Vibes didn't want to give Neek the pen. It turned into a whole mess. And I don't know y'all, let's just get into the video. Okay, I haven't. I have not read any of this. That ain't adding up to 157, sis. I'm good. I'm getting my own line. I tried to be an adult. I'll give you back this phone as well. Do what you please with it. Okay, you don't pay the bill. The phone gets disconnected. Big period. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, since you want to be funny, we're gonna do this. Run, run me my camera and laptop, or you're not getting this phone. <sighs> And I paid for all three, and I have receipts for all three. So if you want to get the police involved, you will definitely lose, but feel free. You cut my phone off dead in the middle of my supporters calling me, and that's a problem. You want to be like this, let's do it. Uh, Nick, 
Okay. She did say many times that she can get petty, and this is one of the situations. She for sure did buy these things for Jay. She gifted them though. When you gift someone items, it no longer belongs to you. It's not your personal item anymore. You gifted it to them. You can't just take back a gift. I'm so against that type of stuff. But uh, yeah. Okay, next thing. They're trying to call you to get me off your line. The bill has to be paid. I already called. What bill? I thought we just paid it. Remember I had it got it extended to where we were paying it late. The bill is... The bill get paid, the line gets split. The sooner the cheaper the individual lines will be. I'm aware of it. It gets... I'm. A, what can I read today? Okay. I'm aware if it gets paid, it can be split. Yeah, just tell me how much it is and the dates, please. And exact dates. If you don't have it, I'll just go there tomorrow. Split can. Okay. October 1st. Okay, so they're trying to figure it out now, okay? See, I missed out. Okay, so these are... So those were text messages between the two. Now, what the hell is this? <laughs> All right. Sorry, I uh, got the video over here. Sorry, y'all. Okay. So it shows the payments, the all oh, the charges. Okay. Mm. I don't owe nobody nothing. I had to get room for two nights, my money also. Okay. Oh shit, girl. Listen, okay? Okay. Okay. I'ma listen. Call me Linda, girl. Call me Linda, I'ma listen. It was agreed. And we all have receipts. Okay, it was agreed mm -hmm. on Monday because that was the end of 30 days for the line to be split. I called Verizon customer service on, I don't know, I don't know what day that was, but I called them. And they told me that this is the bill and they said that I can release it, but if I release it, the bill's gonna be paid. I don't trust her. So to release the bill, let her run off on the bill like she usually do. Run off on the bill. I didn't trust her to do that, so I... So that's probably why Jay was so like blunt with it and so like putting her foot down is because there's been issues in the past of paying the bill. So her the amount, no, she asked me. She asked me the amount, she asked me the dates. I gave it to her. She said, okay. She showed the receipts. I then asked her for my shirts. That was like three months delayed. But anywho, that don't even matter. So today, yesterday, the bill was due. She was asking me, was I ready? I was already in the process of paying the bill. I paid the bill. I paid one, I paid 111 on the card and I paid $45 in cash. But I paid what, 156? That's what I paid. So today, I got five missed calls. I'm asleep, I'm knocked out. Preparing for my fucking day. I got five missed calls. Then, like two weeks ago, I was told and I was verified that you don't need a pen to make a payment. You don't. You can call any Verizon store. You can call the store in Atlanta. You can call the store in Charlotte. You can go in the store. You can ask them. You don't need a pen to make a payment. You need a pen to make account changes. That's the difference. Okay, because I, I don't know. I have never been with Verizon. I've always been a T-Mobile person. And yeah, so I don't really know the situation. But I do believe that she was told that. But it was missing information and all of that shit. I didn't know baby girl wanted a physical copy of the bill. That's the difference. I didn't know she wanted a physical copy. So, okay, you want a physical copy? Cool. My Verizon, that's the app. I went on the Monty's World. You want splitting shit, okay? Let's not forget, I helped you get to your first 8,000 subs and you went on some clout chasing shit and you got your followers up on that Queen and Clarence and Lee stuff. <laughs> Let's be honest. Do not ever play with me. Ooh. Okay, hold on. I gotta disagree with Jay on that one. Only because I don't believe in this whole clout chasing stuff. I believe you're a clout chaser if you're really using somebody and don't want nothing to do with them after. But I truly believe that Neek really... Um, really actually loves and enjoys the, um, the company of Queen and Clarence and Lee. And I really truly believe that she has respect for them. 
It's a business move. And I think she did a smart business move. Not that many people get that opportunity. Look, let's go there. You went to New York on my benefits. But I don't owe you nothing. I don't owe you nothing. Ever. I don't owe you nothing. So yeah, we was being dope and nasty and stuff. We had so much, like we compromised on so much versus, listen, cause her chest was running up. She was feeling real cocky. And she was like, I want to pay the bills. I don't even want you to work. I was working in the car. She was like, I don't even want you to work. She said, I want to pay the bills. I just want you to take care of the car stuff. Well, that's a nice gesture. Shoot, girl, take that opportunity. Why not? I mean, she loved you too, Jay. You know what I mean? So she wanted, I don't consider it cocky. I consider it, I have the funds now to take care of my girl. Did it. That lasted for a little bit. It was some months when no, I didn't have my half. Me moving out, what is the bills? Let's talk about the moving out situation. Let's talk about uh -oh. it. So prior to the moving out situation, I moved out. I texted Nick and I have all those messages. I texted her and I asked her, what are the bills so I can... Take care of it. Take care of my hat because my name is still on the lease. So I wasn't going to move out and just be like, fuck these bills. I never said that. Baby girl told me she don't want me paying nothing where I'm not living. She didn't want me to pay no bills because I'm not living there. But come the end of the month, she crying. Not crying, like literally. But it's this victim shit of how she can't pay the rent. And she was going to stay there until she got evicted. And I'm like, okay, I'm, th I'm being the adult. I'm being smart. Why have an eviction on your name in my name? Mm. We're not doing that because I nope. don't play that eviction shit. I don't play that either, girl. So that was a smart move. I will say this. Yeah, if she made the decision to tell you that she's got it for all the other months, you don't owe her shit. I agree with you completely. You don't owe her shit. That was her decision. She wanted to do that. But on the last month, if she needed the help, I mean, the best thing you can do is help out at that last month if she's asking for it. And I do believe you did help, so. So, what do I do? I asked my dad for the money. My dad looked at me like, bitch, I'm not doing it. <laughs> he said, whatever arrangements you and Tanika had with y'all sales, with the rent, and who gonna pay this and who gonna pay that, that was on y'all. He ain't got nothing to do with it. And that's a good daddy because that's something I would say to all of my stepkids. I'm like, listen, it, that was y'all decision. You guys, you guys agreed on an agreement. You guys gotta take care of it on your own. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I went to some other family members. I did a whole bunch of promos just to get the money up. I got the money. Pay the rent. Okay, girl. Pay the rent. Paid it. And basically we got into an agreement that we would turn in the keys by the 11th of August, I believe. I think, I think it was a... I think it was August or June. I'm not sure. Huh? Yeah. So, that's what happened. The rent got paid, and we were able to turn the keys in prior to a certain date. And then, yeah, everything had to be at the apartment. So, stop. Like, this shit is lame as fuck. I didn't want no beef. I didn't have no So. Beef. Oh, shit. Okay, we're about to hear Nick's side now. Okay, okay. Let's hear it. Me and my ex. I'm going to use the term my ex. I will not be saying her name. And I ain't going to be too quick to respond to nothing y'all saying. But girl, we already know her name. J Vibes. J motherfucking Vibes. But niggas got me fucked up. <laughs> so, for like the past fucking what? Year or two? I've had my ex on my line, right? On my phone line. Okay. Recently, we switched to her line. Okay. I got a whole bunch of shit on my line. I was fucking purchasing and and fucking leasing and renting and shit. All right. So recently, she put me on her line. Call me again, bro. Here, recently, she put me on her line. I hope y'all can still hear me. Can y'all still hear me say yes or no? Yes. <laughs> I know this ain't live no more, but yes, girl, we can hear you. Y'all don't listen to me. So... Here recently, I put her, I mean, she put me on her line. Today, I'm trying to pay my motherfucking phone. And this, this bitch would not give me the pen to my motherfucking phone. Man. Oh. So she's trying to tell y'all. She called her. 
She said, this bitch. When you, when you get tired of somebody, the name calling just starts coming out very easily off the tongue. Oh, I called the police? What the fuck do I have to call the police for? Everything is in... Everything has my motherfucking iCloud on it. Like, stop playing with me. I gave her a camera and yeah. a laptop. I, I gave her a camera and a laptop. She did? I got this phone. Oh, the phone y'all own. I had to get a new line. I got this phone, the phone y'all own. Okay. It's under her name. You ain't getting this phone, but ain't no police being caught. I'm not no police nigga neither. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no need to call the police. But that's what she do. She try to make shit seem like it's something more than what it is. You should have gave me the pen. I would have paid my, my phone bill and that's it. But guess what? I already got everything recorded. I got everything recorded. You want to make a video? We can drop that bitch today. I, I recorded everything. Because you're not about to play me. I'm, I'm, I'm up here with it. I'm old. I'm up here with it. Stop trying to play me. Stop trying to play me, bro. So I'm confused now. Okay, so I want to know why J Vibes didn't give her the pin if she wanted her to pay the bill. So if she wanted her to pay the bill, why didn't she give her the pin? And when it comes to Neek, I do believe that she was told that she needs a pin. I do believe that. So that's what I'm trying to say. It was like a misunderstanding from both sides and they both, because there's so much emotions involved, they had a five year relationship, okay? They were in love, okay? They were dedicated, they worked together, okay? There's so much involved that they let their emotions get the best of them. And the um, simple misunderstanding just got everything all fucked up. Niggas talk about relationships and what you've done for them and all that shit. We both been there. We helped each other in a relationship. You help me with a bill, bitch, I help you with one. Yeah. But you wasn't buying cameras and phones and laptops and you weren't doing none of that. Stop playing with me, bro. So, okay, so what is Nick trying to say exactly? Is she trying to say that she did more? She financially did more than Jay did? I think it's what she's trying to say. I gotta get on here and show my ass, cause you talking about I'm calling the police. Where is the Best Buy? I'm in Atlanta. How am I calling the police on you in Charlotte? Excuse me, can you uh, connect me to the Charlotte police? Get the fuck out of here. Connect me to the Charlotte police. Boy, she got me hot. I don't feel bad. <laughs> you got random people. What's up, y'all? So, I just want to say a little, little speech real quick. A few you months ago. Saying? Okay. I pretty much get Jay whatever the hell she want. And you want to know why? She'll ask me for shit. I don't think she ever wants something to eat. Hey, I remember that video. I watch y'all, okay? I follow you guys. I remember that video. I remember... Jay, Jay seems to be like a simple girl. She doesn't really seem to be materialistic. When you gave her that laptop and that camera, Nick, it was a, these were gifts that you, from your heart, wanted to give your girl. She obviously didn't ask for that stuff. And I don't think she should return them either. It belongs to her. Now, will she give it back to you? She might, just to like get you out of her life now. But man, y'all did not have to go this far. I truly believe you guys love each other and care about each other, but you guys, I don't know what you guys are thinking right now. Slushy, for real. Like that's all she asked for. <laughs> Can I get a slushy? Sure. Can I get something to eat? Yeah. She don't ask for shit else. You know what I'm saying? I got a new camera. Uh, I gave her my old one. My oh. <laughs> I will destroy your life. Hold on, that's an ad. Hold on. That's that's right. That just reminded me. So she didn't even buy her a new camera. She gave her what was left. She gave her her used camera, which is still still a nice gesture, by the way. It, it really is. Still, I would accept it. But girl, you didn't even buy her a brand new one, though. Jackson, my old one is in great shape. 
she already has a camera i just gave her mine too uh and um what i was about to say i'm about to get her the iphone xr i had bought my iphone xr you know didn't buy her one she ain't trip she ain't say shit you know what i'm saying so yo yo little studs out there <laughs> your woman is a Question, sir. You work for Verizon. Uh oh, uh oh, she got video. Hold on. I'm Go ahead. Pay my bill because I've been trying to pay my bill since what? 10 o'clock. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. What She's do I need proof. to pay? She's got proof. Can't pay. And if you don't get the payment, what happens? Can't pay. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. That's why I say this was a misunderstanding. I believe Neek when she, because she sounded frustrated to get that pin. Just in case, um, Charlotte trying to make a video. I'm in here trying to pay my bill. Am I not? I I believed it from the beginning when it comes to that. She wouldn't be blowing up her phone to get that pen for no reason. You know what I mean? She really, she's really in there trying to pay that bill. Sis, you trying to make a video about me? I got, I'm, I'm trying to pay my bill, okay? I need a pen to pay my bill. You want to answer phone? This girl has tried to make it seem like I'm a stalker and has edited or cut out parts of my video of me going back and forth with her uh, about a situation and make it look like I only said one half of what was said, not the other half. <laughs> Sis. Okay, let's hear, let's hear her call with Verizon. Hi, Linda. Linda. <laughs> Had to be Linda. Are you a corporate store? Yes, we are. Yes, ma'am. I just have a question for you and for the people. If I come into your store to make a payment on your account, you need my PIN number? Are, are you actively on the account? I am actively on the account. So do you need my pen just to come in and make a no. and make a payment? No, no, you'll be fine. They still here? Yes, ma'am, I'm still here. That's just all the information I wanted to. Uh, okay, you have a good day. You as well. Hold on, Jay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You proved your point that you don't need a pen to pay your your bill if you're actively on. But girl, the line is under your name though. It's not under Neek's. So I don't know if that was the confusion there. Neek probably needed the pin because it's not under her name. I don't know, man. I don't know, y'all. Comment down below how y'all feel. I don't feel know. Like entirely too messy. Do you feel like this is just a whole bunch of built up, held in anger and they finally let it out? Yeah. They've been pretending, they've been acting like everything was cool, but deep down inside and mm. behind the And this I'm trying to tell you, like, we don't know what's going on, but, like, you can't just let go of a five-year relationship just that easily. You know, from Neek having different girls on her videos um, as a single woman, I mean, that looks like she's having her fun, right? And then Jay is actively, you know, she op she's very open with her life, okay? She's very open with her mind and what she thinks and her sexuality, so that might bother Neek, because you know she did. I guess she did post a picture of a body shot. I guess from what I heard, I didn't even get to see it. But I think there was a lot of jealousy happening from both ends. Maybe I don't know, or maybe not necessarily jealousy, but a lack of respect for one another, and they just both felt a certain way. 
It's just very disappointing because you guys didn't have to let these things go this far. You guys were perfectly fine. You guys broke up on good terms. The scenes, they really ain't been getting along. It's disappointing. It seems like they were going to try to be cordial about this breakup. And that's why it was okay for them to get on the phone line together. And they thought that they could, could continue to split the bill. But don't do that. But things were when Neek moved to Atlanta. Maybe don't Jeff do that. Maybe wasn't feeling it. Maybe Jeff Bice don't care. And it just looks like she's upset about Neek being in Atlanta because of the timing that this all take this is all taking place. I just feel like they need to sit down, turn the cameras off. Yes, I agree. A mutual agreement of I what agree. they're going to be for in relationship. When I say relationship, that doesn't mean romantic. Right. Are we gonna be friends? Are we gonna be just ex lovers? Are we just gonna be acquaintances? Are we gonna be business partners? But I feel like the cameras need to go off and they need to speak to each other face to face. I agree. And mm -hmm. just just respect each other. Just be respectful. That's, That's the word. That's the word. Because, you know, when I be watching their videos, I be talking to myself. And I be like, damn, what happened to the respect with, for one another? They had a lot of respect for each other. And they just went downhill. Just went downhill. And the worst part of it all, and I'm talking to you, Nick, and I'm talking to you, Jay. The worst part of it all is that you're entertaining the world. Okay? You're entertaining your subs, your haters. And these are people that you don't know personally, okay? You don't know these people, but they're having fun. They're taking out their popcorn and enjoying this moment. While you guys, I'm sure, are hurt in some way. And you you guys are letting this whole social media thing get the best of you. And I understand they're both trying to defend their characters and their reputation, but man... I hope Nick doesn't post a video because she did say she was she wanted to let everything out, make a video on it and everything, exposing Jay. Don't do it. Nick, don't do it. Just both of y'all just let it go. Let it go. If y'all want to, go on your own separate ways and just live your lives separately. That's it. That's what this is all about. Just be respectful. I feel like this is a case or an issue of miscommunication. I agree. Comment down below how you feel. Are you still going to support Jet Vibes? Are you still subscribed to my girl, Neek G? I don't know. All right, well, tell me what you think. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this whole drama that's going down. Because most of my subs are also their subs. So let me know what you think. If you don't agree with me, it's okay argue with me i'm down with it i'm down to read all those comments but anyways sorry i stopped the video so many times and i talked so much but i follow the both of them i have a lot of opinions to this so all right you guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to this channel also subscribe to my channel with my wife it's called bliss and pris all right see you in the next video peace